Hey, it's Alan here from Love for Warriors. So today I want to talk about reading. I said a little bit about reading already. I'm going to say some more. Now, something happens when you read. I think from the time of child is one. You should be reading to them. Maybe even younger, I don't know. But I've done both. I have read from an early age and also not read from an early age with different um, children. Now, I know the ones that I've read from an early age are really, really, really good readers now. Really good readers. Um, and enjoy reading. And it's about spending time with you. It's about having that connection and having some time with the dad or with the mom, whatever. Well, like this, um, this situation, I'm just talking about the dad because it's just what it is. I'm giving you my experience. So for them, a lot of it is just having some time with your dad and having that connection, feeling the connection with the right now. The, but what happens is very interesting happens because when you read at first, it's really boring. <laughs> I'm sorry, but it's really, really boring. And it's really slow. They're going to read. Every word is going to be work for them and for you because you have to listen. So uh, what I did was paired reading. I think the paired reading is brilliant. They probably talk about it in lots of books and all that kind of thing. So if you want to look it up, look it up. But I think the paired reading is brilliant. brilliant. It's really simple though. So you read a page, they read a page, you read a page, they read a page. There's more than one kid. You, you read a page, they read one page, next kid reads another page, you read the next page. Very simple. Now, it's just really tough to start. Just like anything, if you're doing an exercise regime and you're starting off, it's going to be really, really tough to start. And you've got to feel weird about it. And it's exactly the same. At first, it's, it's really, really slow. Every word is going to be work. Every word. But if you keep it up, and I'm not saying every day, I worked full time, so I just couldn't do it every day. It was impossible. But I tried to have, the, you know, that half an hour before I go to bed. So sometimes I'm just too tired and you sit in the bed and go to bed yourself. But there's other days where you, you know, you have 20 minutes so you can sit down and read a few pages of a book, any book. And it only has to be a few pages. It can be one page. You can read half page, you can read the other half. It doesn't have to be a lot. And at first it's going to be really difficult, really sort of going to, every word is going to be work. Every single word is going to be work. But something magical happens. One day you wake up and you go in and you're reading again and you suddenly realise that they're reading really well, out of nowhere. It happens slowly. It's like the tide coming in. Uh, one minute the tide is out, the next minute the tide just comes in. So, and you suddenly realize, hey, they're reading really well. And you're actually enjoying it. You, maybe you're enjoying the story at this stage. And you've also found that, because my, to be honest with you, my reading wasn't great. I wasn't a big reader. I loved learning things, but my, I wasn't a big reader before um, I started reading with my kids. And then when I was reading with my kids, I started to enjoy the process. And now I'm, you know, reading all kinds of books. I have this one at the moment. Just had this in front of me. But I, when I'm building a story brand, I'm reading this. And I'm also, uh, but what I'm really reading now is Think and Grow Rich. I'm rereading Think and Grow Rich, which is a great, I'll talk about that in another video. But it's, it, it's magical. Overnight, they start reading. They start actually reading instead of trying to work out every word. Suddenly, they're not working on every word. They're reading a story, and a story is interesting. And there's lots of wee kid stories that are really interesting. Diary of a Wimpy Kid. If you, if you don't know what to get, just get Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Amazing book. I'll, I might put some links in, in the description in here. Um, if I can find out how to be an Amazon affiliate. <laughs> and you can go in and I might get like a, a couple of cents off each book or something. But if you don't know what to get, just get Diary of a Wimpy Kid. It's a great, really, really great story. So it, you've got to put in the time. You've got to put in the time. It might take a month. It might take two months. It might take three months. It, it doesn't matter. Don't be one worrying about when they're going to get it, when they're not going to get it. But you're going to wake up one day and they're just good readers. And you're enjoying the story that they're reading to you. You're also enjoying the story that you're reading because it's going to be paired reading and they're going to read a page, you're going to read a page, or whatever you want. Later on, you might want to read two or three pages and they read two or three pages, but it's paired reading. And it's just magical. And it's so useful for them later on. It's good for their thinking. It's good for being able to come up with things quickly, <laughs> which I explained by not being able to think of the word that I wanted to say. Um, but it's good for the thinking overall and to be able to read and reading feeds into the writing later on that you can read well and you can write well. It's really, really important. And that it helps in business later on. If, if you're in business, you're going to want to be able to do business writing. You're also going to want to be able to do research, which is really important. It's important that you can read 
and write down what you what you've read and also when you're just studying it's a good thing to read and be able to take good notes even in a meeting being able to been in a business meeting being able to look at the person listen to them understand what they're saying and take notes so you remember later on what needs to be done it's all super important so i just wanted to go through reading really quickly i think reading is is super important and it's something that it's the second thing after typing i went through typing already after typing for me, it's the, it's the most important thing that the kids need to learn.